For this balloon, you're going to use three 260s. I'm using two greens and a red, and also a five inch white round. All right, so that first one you're going to blow up just using that much there for the head. And the other one you want to blow up all the way, that's going to be for the rest of the snake body. Then we have this for the eyes, the five inch white round, right about that much. And then an uninflated red balloon, that's going to be for the tongue coming out. All right, grab that first green balloon. You guys can use whatever color you want. I'm using green here. And we're going to start by doing a loop twist. Right about there. Twist that around. And then push that nozzle through a couple times. All right, now make a one inch bubble and pinch twist it. Twist that into place. Now you're going to do another loop twist, the same size as the one you just made. And that's going to create essentially the whole head there that's the two parts of the mouth. Twist that in. And now the rest of the balloon we're just going to take off. So we don't need that. Pop that off. And then go ahead and make sure you tie that knot there and then hide that little piece. All right. That's the mouth there. All right, grab that next balloon that's blown up all the way. And this part's pretty simple. We're just gonna add that nozzle end there right up underneath the neck there that we made with our pinch twist. So just wrap that in somewhere make it nice and secure. All right, and those two loop twists are gonna be right on top of each other for the mouth. There we go. Now we're gonna take those eyes, really it's just that one five inch white round that we're gonna twist in half. So twist that in so it's nice and even on both sides and then wrap that nozzle around to lock it in. All right, hold on to it there so it doesn't come undone. And then grab your snake body and then I just pop it in right on top of that pinch twist and the top of the mouth. So holding it all in place, I'm gonna wrap that around the nozzle of the white balloon. And you wanna wrap it all the way around and then back around the white eyeballs. Situate it where you want it. Okay, now we're going to mold the bottom of the balloon here, the rest of the snake body, and we're just going to wrap it up nice and tight like that. And the more pressure you make and the tighter you make it, the more it's going to coil. This will create a coil look for your snake. It's gonna be tricky to hold it all in place. Sometimes you have to use a flat surface like this. Put pressure on all sides. And then let go. And you have a nice little coil there for the snake. You can make more adjustments if you want. All right, now we're gonna draw on some eyes here. Pretty simple some eyes with eyebrows. And lastly, we're going to add that uninflated red 260 there. And all we have to do is pop it in there. We are going to take off a little bit of that so it's not too long. So find out the length that you want it to be. And then go ahead and cut off the excess. I'm just going to cut it with my teeth. Pull the excess off. And you can wrap the end of that in right behind the eyes and the neck. Make sure it's hidden. That way it looks a little more clean. And at this point, you might have to readjust the eyeballs. In which case, you might want to draw the eyes on last, which I usually do, but I didn't do for this tutorial. 
All right, that's how it looks. Good job, guys. You just made the balloon snake. Looks good.